Hi, my name is Anna and Sarah, and I'm a BCBA at Gateway Pediatric Therapies Livonia location. And my name is Helen Attar, and I'm the clinical director at Gateway Pediatric Therapies Livonia Clinic. We are excited to be partnering with OU Cares to be talking about neighborhood and parking lot safety. With the warm weather approaching, we want to provide you with the tools to keep your child safe in the community. Before we dive into our topic, we suggest practicing these skills with your child before going into the community. Some way to practice these skills are the following. Acting out different scenarios with dolls or figurines. Using Legos to model a crosswalk or homes with sidewalks to act out different scenarios with toy cars. Practicing with a parked car in your driveway. Using arts and crafts to create a model picture of these scenarios and discussing these safety skills with your child. Building cardboard boxes and practicing these safety skills in the home. Using visuals of traffic signs in your home to teach your child what they mean and what to do when they approach these signs. Let's get started. The first step in parking lot safety starts when your child initially gets out of the car. It is important to teach children to wait until you are there to assist before getting out of the car. There may be moving cars close by and we want to ensure your child gets out of the car safely while being aware of their surroundings. You can teach your child to put their hand on a certain spot like the door handle as they wait as a reminder. Once your child is out of the car, it is important to teach them to be aware of their surroundings while walking through the parking lot. Teach your child to look and listen. Before walking through the parking lot, teach your child to look left and right before beginning to walk and point out any moving or stopped cars. You can also teach your child to listen for a car that they might not be able to see. Always encourage your child to be attentive when crossing the parking lot and avoid any distractions such as electronics or toys. You should always use walking feet. If appropriate, your child should be holding your hand or walking next to you. First, you and your child will approach the intersection. Next, be sure to press the button for the crosswalk. Be sure to wait until the crosswalk sign changes from stop to walk. It may take some time for the sign to change, so be sure you are positioned safely to wait with your child. Look both ways twice, once safe, and there are no moving cars. Hold your child's hand and walk across the street. Be sure to model the appropriate way to look and listen for traffic. There may be several distractions such as cars, loud noises, or traffic lights while crossing the street. So it is important to walk at a normal or slightly faster pace to avoid these distractions. It is also helpful to teach your child common community signs such as a stop sign, crosswalk sign, do not walk sign, and a walk sign. You can practice with your child what to do when they see these signs in the comfort and safety of your own home using some of the suggestions provided at the beginning of this video. If there is a sidewalk in your neighborhood, be sure your child knows that this is the safest option while walking. If there is no sidewalk, be sure they are closest to the curb. When approaching a driveway, teach your child to slow down and look for both cars pulling into or backing out of the driveway by looking both ways and listening to the sound of moving cars or cars that have the ignition on. After waiting at least five seconds to ensure the cars are not moving into or backing out of the driveway, begin to continue walking. You can narrate this as you look for cars and count out loud while you wait. You can teach your child to notice cars with their engine on by pointing out that they can listen for the sounds of the engine or look for lights on the car. When crossing the street in a neighborhood, it is important to emphasize looking and listening. Try to cross the street where a stop sign is visible to you and oncoming traffic. When approaching an intersection to cross, look both ways and listen for incoming cars as well. Be sure to have your child listen closely as you may be able to hear a car coming before you see it. Once you have looked both ways and listened twice, it is safe to cross the street. Be sure to keep an eye on your surroundings or any last minute incoming cars and cross the street at a steady pace. We hope that these tips can help you keep your child safe while teaching them the important skills of street safety. Always be sure to be a role model and reward your child's behavior when they are displaying appropriate parking lot safety. Thanks for watching.